how much money do influencers make <laughs> you can go up to like 3 lakhs 4 lakhs a month okay. uh, like i'm not talking about myself but gender <laughs> and generally i'm talking mm. like, i make around you can you guys can buy two iphone 15 pros in a month best thing about being an influencer is that you get the privilege to eat free food everywhere <laughs> you go we don't need to pay anything mm-hmm. even get food at a place uh, like restaurants deliver it to our place and so it's very easy like we can order free food for us set a bhai like guys so the next time you see suryansh guys he is not the guy who was who was in tarzan the wonder car yeah, is that yeah, the movie he is not he is suryansh kapoor <laughs> Hi guys my name is Tanya if you have access to your phone or social media aapne kabhi na kabhi to socha hoga ki ye social media influencers kaun hote hain kitna kamate hain kya karte hain ha yaar hum karte kya hai so to clarify that today i have a very special guest here with me so let's dive right into it do you want to tell our viewers who you are your at and what you do hi guys my name is suryansh kapoor uh, i am a content creator Yeah, and uh, what kind of content do you make? I make fashion and lifestyle content. Mm-hmm. What's your at? Uh, it's Suryansh Kapoor with a double R. Okay, so let's dive into it. What I what's your follower count at the moment? So right now it's ninety thousand. Mm-hmm. I've dropped a lot of followers <laughs> in the last month, but yeah, I'll get I'm close to hundred k, so I'll get hundred k followers soon. Okay, what do you mean you've dropped? a lot of followers so i was not very consistent with my okay. like posting i was not posting since like a month because i had my exams so because of which i dropped my reach and my followers also dropped a bit like i uh, went till 96k followers but then i was inconsistent so my followers dropped till 90k <laughs> oh wow okay ye bhi hota hai ki following drops I yeah no so idea. like you have to be consistent on the mm-hmm. like uh, platform mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. if you don't post anything so your viewers will be like you will become inactive uh, on the app so you will basically lose followers mm-hmm. if you don't get uh, like good reach mm-hmm. correct okay so you're about to reach 100k yeah. which is a huge number how are you feeling about that that's right around the corner right now i did not achieve like 100k mm-hmm. followers but if i will i will be very happy and grateful to everyone who is following me and following what i post on mm-hmm. my instagram does it feel like a huge moment it does mm-hmm. feel like a huge moment yeah because like so many people are like uh, around 1 lakh people are following me so that's going to be a very big thing for me so 1 yeah. lakh is a huge huge number okay speaking of numbers let's get to a question that i think everybody wants to know how much money do influencers make <laughs> so uh, <laughs> i don't want to share this but like uh, it depends on like every creator to creator like some creators uh like there's no specific number of uh, there's no specific number of earning you make through instagram but like you can go up to like 3 lakhs 4 lakhs a month okay. uh like i'm not talking about myself but gender <laughs> and generally i'm talking mm. like uh, for uh, like i make around uh around you can you guys can buy two iphone 15 pros in a month wow okay yeah. so do you think touch uh, touch that's good okay touch good <laughs> so uh, do you think uh, it like your following also depends like your follower count depends yeah, on how much you earn absolutely want. it depends on your followers like if a person has like 300k followers so the, he or he she may earn like a good amount of money mm-hmm. but like if you have 10k 20k for uh, 20k uh, instagram followers so mm-hmm. it would be tough for you to like uh, get good amount mm-hmm. of money but yeah you can, you can still... earn you can still earn like 5 10 15 20k in a month okay okay depends that's on it. your content that totally depends on your content mm-hmm. like if you are posting good aesthetic reels mm-hmm. and like uh, you get good reach on your account so yeah you will get good uh, like the, the basically uh, brands look brands always look for people who make good aesthetic content mm-hmm. and do do have a good reach mm-hmm. so it totally depends on brands okay interesting so even yeah. like people with a lower follower account can yeah they can like if you have good de- like basically i guess this uh, like people say this i don't really follow it but like you become an influencer when you get 10k followers 
so the minimum you need to get is 10k followers uh, on your account uh, so so that you can be called as an influencer so people with low follow accounts can also earn yeah of course they can earn so it i as i told you it totally depends on the reach of the person like if uh, i'm sorry <laughs> that's okay that's okay Why, i thought it was super i think we're good <laughs> it's probably a squirrel okay okay yeah yeah low follow count yeah sorry low follow count yeah so uh, wh- where was i <laughs> that they can earn to it depends on their reach yeah it totally depends on the person's reach mm-hmm. uh, that uh, if a creator has like 10k followers and is posting good content and is getting like more than 100k views on every reel mm-hmm. so yeah you can earn very uh, like a good amount of money through that too like not a good amount of money but uh, uh, like uh, yeah for starting yeah. so like i to basically i to did barta collaboration mm-hmm. starting till like around 20k followers mm-hmm. and because i did not know about the the commercial thingy mm-hmm. uh, till like i got like 15k followers because my followers like i grew too fast mm-hmm. like i did not see the mid mid phases okay. a lot like i was first i got 10k followers then i directly got 25k followers then mm-hmm. from 25 i got 37k followers mm-hmm. then after 37k i it was a very I, instant. yeah instantly i got like uh, 85000 followers wow. like i posted a reel and that reel got uh, 56.7 million views so like huge number yeah so because of that reel i like gained a lot of followers and my reach was also good like i there was a time like last month if you see my account like my average view rate was like 300 to 400k for, uh, views on every reel like 500 k uh, 1 million so that time my reach was very good as i told you i was in incons- inconsistent for like a mm, month yeah. in between because of my exam so my reach dropped a bit but yeah still it's nice okay okay so to earn you need the views you need the reach okay makes sense so again on this topic what are your sources of revenue then like is it just primarily collaborations or like youtube twitch are there like other streams so right now uh, i am on youtube but i don't earn anything from youtube mm-hmm. I've, i've just started on youtube okay yeah and uh, my sources of income my source of income right mm-hmm. so like, my uh, in social media only in social media okay so uh, my source of income in social media is like uh, through instagram obviously okay. and so what in like brand collaborations and all yeah uh, like see if, if you have a good profile so brands will also uh, like uh, hit you up for uh, modeling and oh. photo shoots and like the promoting their t-shirts mm-hmm. their clothing so i also earn through like shoots doing uh, photo shoots and like real shoots posting giving the, the brands ugc videos and yeah posting reels mm-hmm. a collaborative form of reels mm-hmm. and that's it interesting okay so what would you say has been your best brand deal or like collaboration so far my best brand deal uh or something that you've had the most fun doing or filming fun doing okay i can't think of any brand till now <laughs> because it's like brands are see guys you i'm oh wait what the fuck is this yeah yeah so brands do pay good money mm-hmm. to the creators but they do take like they what do we call that nichodna ha nichodte hain dil nichodte hain nichodofy us <laughs> nichodofy us okay yeah okay, so nichodofy in the sense ki you don't have fun doing it anymore or like they're very stringent with the brief that they give no, you no i to have nichodofy as in matlab brand hamare ko kaam de raha hai paise de raha hai but at the same time they want us to like do everything out mm-hmm. of it like mm-hmm. har do minute mein they ask us ki uh, एडिट करो वीडियो को वापस रीशूट करो सो इट्स टफ ऑल्सो एट द सेम टाइम वी आर अर्निंग मनी पीपल थिंक हमें बस वीडियो बना के अपलोड कर देनी होती है बट नो वन नोज दॉट गोज बिहाइंड सीन स्ट्रगल ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो आई थिंक फॉर अ ब्रांड एंड आई थिंक स्पेशली बिकॉज इट्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड इट्स मैक्सिमम फिफ्टीन सेकेंड रील ट्वेंटी सेकेंड रील सो पीपल आर लाइक कितना ही मेहनत लगा होगा बट उनको ये नहीं पता होता कि वी हैव टू एडिट द रील then we have the to shoot the reel look for backgrounds go to the shoot location ask a person to shoot a reel for us so 
lot of work to be done lot of work traveling okay. uh, traveling is also a big major part you have to go look for good backgrounds mm -hmm. and ask people to like not come in the frame mm -hmm. that's the most hectic thing no it does sound hectic struggle to bahut hai but then do you think it's a more difficult job than the rest of the jobs out there it's not difficult but at the same time it's like not easy also mm -hmm. so yeah understandable that it is a difficult job but then do you think that being an influencer is a more difficult job than like the rest of the jobs out there it's not a difficult job no job is difficult like no no job is easy every job is uh, difficult at its own level so like being an influencer is not tough but not easy at the same time but yeah. you have to put in some efforts you have to be consistent you have to have an aim like like to achieve something like people yeah. thing that they like i have seen many people jo aate hai bolte bhai maine post kari reach nahi aaye chal maine chhod diya fir mere ko bhi influencer banna hai ye karna hai but no one really wants to be consistent on this platform or they just give up after like panch reel post kar di maine reel pe mere views nahi aa rahe main kya karu chhod yaar bekar hai main nahi kar raha so that that's not how it is you have to be consistent on the platform you have to like go according to the algorithm and uh, keep posting and not give up at least to like if you like even if you post a reel you get like 5000 views on it like even if you get 1000 views on it you'll at least get like one follow up out of it mm -hmm. so yeah one day you will obviously uh, your reel will also get viral so you will get get many followers from that mm -hmm. so you don't just you don't have to give up and be consistent on the pl uh, platform that's the best Maybe, advice yeah. anyone could give you yeah any creator could give you speaking about this so like how do you feel that you have thousands of people following you and even more people watching your content on a daily basis i feel privileged that so many people follow me and i'm very happy ki people like me and love me for mm -hmm. who i am mm -hmm. like i don't have to fake it on my yeah. instagram i am completely real on my instagram mm -hmm. but still people love me and i am re really uh, i'm happy about that mm -hmm. I also think it's very difficult to fake it online. I feel like you might See, say otherwise uh, that people do do but I feel like for how long are you going to fake it? For how long could you possibly yeah, exactly. fake it? Yeah, exactly. So uh, till the time you can fake it mm -hmm. but after a time wh while you go out people are going to recognize you mm -hmm. like that these girls are recognizing me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so uh, uh, like people are going to recognize okay. you when you go outside. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can't fake it in front of them. obviously if you are like all the way like that on your instagram and you are uh, yeah. very uh, different when you are in reality. in reality so obviously you can't fake it in your real yeah. life right you yeah. go you go out on events influencer mm -hmm. events uh, out for uh, like fest and all so you you can't fake it there mm -hmm. so have people recognize you on the street and how does that feel uh, <laughs> uh it feels good feels good so they have Yeah, people do recognize Happens me. Happens often. People uh, sometimes think that I am the guy who uh, I am the guy who was in Tarzan the Wonder Car movie. Oh yeah! <laughs> people come up to me and and be like, "You are the Tarzan the Wonder Car guy." So many people recognize me as a Tarzan the Wonder Car guy. But you do? Oh my God! Now that you've said it, you do look a lot like him. I get that a lot. <laughs> so what is the experience like how do you feel if like someone comes up to you and they you know recognize not, you Not not good if they recognize me as Tarzan the Wonder Not good as but as Surya yeah, if they recognize me as Surya mm -hmm. Kapoor then I feel very good about okay. it It must be surreal no I like I want to use anyone's fame mm -hmm. ki wo usne kaam yeah. kara hai movie mein okay. he did all the mehnat and all I can't take his credit uh, because, look uh, Yeah I'm the look alike <laughs> Right so, right yeah. So I mean I think it feels kind of surreal also because like you think ha huh, i have 90k followers but mm -hmm. then when people actually approach you and it's like okay this person is this physically this person is following me and all it is it is it feels unreal no yeah basically hum influencers ka kya hota hai people don't remember our names but wo dekh ke bolte yaar isko dekha hua hai reels mein aata hai yaar ye isko dekha hai iski reel dekhi thi maine ye iski tarah dikhta hai waise dikhta and they don't approach you obviously mm -hmm. but you can always see people pointing at you and they make it so obvious that they they look they at the phone oh, and so they're so looking so. like this and they keep looking man they say ah is bande ko janta hu main yaar isko janta hu okay wow that wow that must be exciting okay so tell me how often do people slide into your dms every day 
<laughs> every day yeah, so I what is new dms every day mm-hmm. no but then what is like a crazy pickup line someone has used on you or something like that <laughs> so i'm very bad at pickup line so i can't make out uh, make a uh, like make up a pickup line right now because okay. i don't remember any pickup lines ever don't remember that what is like but a mostly the pickup lines are cringe but <laughs> I they, it's very sweet that people are approaching mm-hmm. me so I take it in a very cute way that people are texting me mm-hmm. so recently only a girl like sent me her uh, boyfriend's picture and said that you guys look alike <laughs> so much and then she like uh, wrote a pickup line on it mm-hmm. like uh, you both look so I can make you both aise karke kuch she wrote mm-hmm. and that was a bit cute but mm-hmm. cringe at the same time because obviously she's talking about a boyfriend yeah so yeah a little weird yeah. to slide into someone's dm yeah. and talk about their boyfriend but to be talking to you yeah a little strange so very <laughs> so can you walk us a little bit through your journey like what were you doing uh, before you became a, a social media influencer so i was in school okay i was in 12th class when i posted my first reel and that was a trend okay and after that i really wanted to like i i i saw many people on instagram getting mm-hmm. so many followers uh by posting reels so i also wanted to be one of them okay. like not one of them but like i also wanted a good fan base for myself because i want to become an actor when i grow up okay. so having a fan base having a uh, having people support you having a place where you a platform where you can express yourself having an audience good audience is a very initial Helps part you. yeah is a very initial part uh, in this journey so yeah uh, so i started posting reels after that so at a time my first collaboration was uh, when i had around 6 7 k followers and that was a barter collaboration that, that it was a um, mixer uh, i guess a mixer brand yeah okay. it was a mixer brand uh, this was in class 12 yeah Much later. i did pass uh, school that time okay after time. after school yeah okay. so uh, this was a time when while i was looking for an college uh, for a college okay. uh, yeah so uh, i got that mixer brand so i had to make, make a reel and till t- i as i told you like, till 15 20k followers i you should uh, i always did like barter collaborations mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. एंड उसके बाद आई स्टार्टेड लाइक चार्जिंग अपने उस पर बिकॉज वन डे वन फ्रेंड सेट भाई इतने फॉलोअर्स है इतनी अच्छी रीच आती है <laughs> फिर भी पैसे नहीं ले रहा है सो या आई आफ्टर दैट आई स्टार्टेड चार्जिंग ब्रांच फॉर माई रील्स ओके सो यू मीन आफ्टर स्कूल यू वेंट स्ट्रेट इन टू कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन फुल टाइम No. Or did you do? You went to college, you were saying. Like I'm not a full-time creator right now, but I like try to manage it with my uh, studies also uh, at this time, at this moment. So yeah, so at my in my free time, I try to make reels. I try to make content rather than watching Netflix or any movies. Whoops, <laughs> that is me. So yeah, uh, rather than like wasting my time, I try to invest it on something productive and like. Okay so I'm in content. So you're studying right now? Yeah, uh, I'm in college. Uh, I'm in I'm I'm studying law. Law okay B-A-L-L-B. wow. Wow okay then isn't it uh, difficult to like balance college and like content creation side by side? See uh, to be very honest uh, I'm doing law as a, as like my backup course. I want to become an actor as I told you. Oh. I want to get in the Bollywood industry. Okay. So it's just like a backup thing you you should always have a backup so mm-hmm. law is a good backup like mm-hmm. people say ki bhai law kyun leke rakh liya bhai 5 saal ka course kar raha hai law yeah. actor banna hai to um, so but still i feel like i did it because like my parents also wanted me to do law mm-hmm. like they did not force me or anything but like i also was like I always wanted to do some course jisme thodi power ho so mm-hmm. law pad ke aap mein power nahi aayi to fir kya mm-hmm. baat hai so you were talking about how you want to go into acting so content creation is not your end goal is it to go to bollywood yeah of course it's uh, it's i i have to go to bollywood like i have done couple of movies like uh, oh. through dharma productions oh okay can you tell us about that yeah uh, have you seen student of the year 2 of course everybody so seen student played, of the year 2 i played tiger shroff's childhood role in uh, student of the year 2 okay and gurgaon a movie there's a movie gurgaon 
named Gurgaon. So in that, I played Pankaj Tripathi's childhood role and like the hero's, uh, sorry, Pankaj Tripathi's son and the hero's childhood role, Akshay Obroy's childhood role. Okay. And there are more movies. So yeah. So you're already pseudo into the industry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, since uh, okay. since I'm a kid, I did this uh, Gurgaon movie when I was in sixth class. Okay. So s- since then, uh, I really wanted to become an actor. Mm. To be very honest, uh, since when I met uh, Imtiaz Ali Khan in his room uh, at Imperial Hotel for an interview, mm-hmm. uh, till since that day he told me that this guy can become a good actor when he grows wow. up. S- since then, I really wanted to become an actor. What an amazing story. Yeah. So the next time you see Suryansh, guys, he is not the guy who was who was in Tarzan the Wonder Car. Is yeah, that yeah. the movie? He is not. He is Suryansh Kapoor. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That was honestly such a wholesome question. So let me ask you, what is the best thing about being an influencer? Best thing about being an influencer is that you get the privilege to eat free food everywhere <laughs> you go. You get uh, invites from like, um, like I get invites every weekend. Mm-hmm. Like every day I get new invitations from like cafe openings, mm-hmm. restaurant openings, like this, the, if this has any inauguration. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we don't need to pay anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, ever like we get free drinks if we get free food wow. and yeah that's it wow, that has to be like the top thing bhai, about being an <laughs> yeah, influencer exactly. ki, bhai, now i don't have to pay for a lot of things yeah exactly now we even get food at our place uh, like restaurants deliver it to our place and oh, ask wow. us to give us a review so it's very easy like we can order free food for us set hai bhai, like yeah. guys if you all want to try it out, if you want to try being an influencer, definitely go there for are it. Many perks of being an influencer. Many perks right. of being an influencer. But then there are also cons. So tell me, what is the worst thing about being an influencer? So the moment you start getting fame, mm-hmm. you get a lot of hate. A lot of hate. Like a lot of hate. Uh, and I'm not even exaggerating it right now. But like, yeah. So I get like. The worst sort of comments on in my comment section, on my DMs, like more than uh, these flirty comments, uh, sorry, uh, f- flirty DMs and all, I get okay. hate comments, uh, hate messages. So it's like, uh, sometimes I do get demotivated, mm-hmm. but I don't like focus on it at all now. Now I'm used to it. So yeah, you have to be used to getting hate while mm-hmm. when you are an, uh, like when you are famous. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the fact. And you can't trust anyone. Yeah. Like people, like there are many people who just talk to us, like because we have followers. Like yeah. want to uh, be with us because, uh, like. Uh, you can't trust genuine connections anymore. Genuine connections, yeah. yeah. It's tough to con- like uh, connect with genuine people. Right. So guys, hold your horses if you want to be an influencer. You know, think of all the pros and cons. So then, how do you deal with these trolls online? I just ignore them. Just that's it them. has has there been a really bad comment that you haven't been able to ignore or you know you ha- have yeah, to speak up about it. yeah one day i got this dm in my inbox like this person was like your whole family dies tomorrow morning and you will die in an accident uh so that was really randomly out of nowhere. Random out of nowhere. You didn't know this person. Yeah, I did not know this person. So that was very like sad for me because I even showed it to my mother. Like I was oh very uh, like I did not feel good. Ki aise koi kyu bol sakta hai? Main to kuch bigada bhi nahi. Maine kya kara hai? Aise and it was not this much. Usme pura paragraph likha tha. Jisme bas the sad ye ho jaye, wo ho jaye. And it was very like I can't mm-hmm. talk about it also. Okay, okay. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. I think. Being an influencer also means that it takes a lot of emotional, mental strength, you know, and you, yeah. you just have to ignore these negative comments. Right. That's it. Right. Nothing else. And I feel like people sometimes forget that there is a whole other person on the other side of the screen. You know, they think, okay, this person is just on the internet and they kind of sort of put you on this pedestal, like, koi farak nahi padega, isko kuch bhi bol do and all. But we're people and we have families exactly. and we have feelings and emotions that I think people don't take. It's so easy to sit behind a screen and type something and send it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, barring all the terrible things that, you know, happen, um, have you made any friends on Instagram that you you haven't met? 
and you know it's been like a genuine connection yeah i have made many friends on instagram and like mostly my friends are made on instagram only mm-hmm. so like currently all my friends are from instagram only not all of them but yeah most of them okay yeah so like have you met them offline and like in real life I, and like how has that been i have met a lot of my mm-hmm. friends like online friends um, like in reality also mm-hmm. and there are wonderful people and but yeah there are many friends who don't live like past me mere ghar ke mm-hmm. and like not in delhi also so yeah to unse milna is a bit tough to mm-hmm. but it's good i think like you were saying like it's very difficult to make genuine connections now because you know you're an influencer and you never know ki kaun fayda uthana cha raha hai and all of that so i think it's easier for like influencers to befriend influencers only see what i said was like uh, for example i met a person mm-hmm. then uh, i'm going out with that person and thodi der baad wo banda bolta hai ghar jane ke baad acha wo jo photo li thi usko story pe dal de mereko tag kar dio oh. ya meri reel ko na apni story pe dal de tag kar dio to so, so then it feels thoda in genuine ha ki ye to bhai story pe dalne ke liye wo kar raha hai matlab to ajeeb sa lagta hai ajeeb lagta hai correct correct obviously thank you so much suryansh for joining me today i loved your answers i've taken notes thank you for all your tips and i've really really enjoyed this and i hope you have too i really did enjoy it and i felt like i'm sitting coffee with karan ke set pe <laughs> guys tea with anya tea, tea, with, tea anya. with anya okay fantastic guys please please follow my friend suryansh here at suryansh kapoor with uh, two r yeah double r Okay double R and also subscribe to Boompla like share comment share with all your friends so that we can come back next week again with more videos like that you know what let's do it together okay 1 2 3 subscribe, subscribe to Boompla Yeah acha lag raha hai you have any in mera side ko ek dusre ko na bahut garmi hai ye बाय गाइस थैंक यू सो मच